But we will hunt you down. Strong words from the mayor of Edmonds today. He's trying to curb a string of violence, including a deadly stabbing and a drive-by shooting aimed at a young teenager. Fox 13's Brisa Mendez joins us with more. And Brisa, his tough talk is coming as police deal with staffing issues there. So what's the latest? It's a problem of training new officers fast enough, not just in Edmonds, but for communities across the Puget Sound. And the mayor's not stopping from making it plain and simple to criminals. Police will do whatever it takes to protect the city. The recent drive-by shooting near two Edmonds schools, leaving a 13-year-old wounded, brought out the anger and resolve in Mayor Mike Nelson. I have a message for those of you who think you can come to our town to harm our children. We will hunt you down and we will bring you to justice. If you think you can come to our city to commit violence using deadly force, I promise you, you'll be met with deadly force from our officers. His words backed up by the man and woman of the Edmonds Police Department, but tough talk doesn't change the fact that Parma is putting fewer officers on the streets these days. Edmonds is safe. I, I assure you that the professionalism of your staff um, that goes in uh, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, shows up without fail. Uh, we're short staffed like everybody else, but we're also dedicated professionals. It's not that there aren't enough people willing to protect and serve. Instead, the issue has been the limited amount of programs to train them. Classrooms are full statewide. But Edmonds Police Chief Michelle Bennett says there's money in the budget and support from the governor's administration to open new police academies starting in Pasco next month. And then hopefully uh, one in Skagit County and Clark County, maybe in November or early 2024. I mean, it's a public safety issue for all of us to make sure we have staff out on the street. We're happy to report the 13 year old drive by victim is now home from the hospital, but the shooters are still out there. We do have a picture and video of the white truck used in the attack up on our website, fox13seattle.com. If you have any information regarding this white vehicle, please contact Edmonds Police Department. Reporting in Edmonds, Bruce Mendes, Fox 13 News.